Season's greetings. I'm back on the couch. I figured I'd take a little bit of a break to give you the latest and greatest. This is November's update. Don't mind the Christmas decorations. My wife, Amy, loves Christmas and starts November 1st. So with that being said, check out November's update. We are here I'm with Miss Bernadette. Oh, we gonna get it. We got Chuck Gerby over here. <laughs> Doing a little mean girls action, getting ready for it. We got the smoking hot wife here too. I don't know who that guy is right there, but <laughs> he's ready to play. And just like that, we are back. Welcome for those who are new. My name is Sly Williams. I am a Young Life Air Director on the east end of Pittsburgh. I've been here for about, about a year and a half with my smoking hot wife, Amy. You will probably see her in this video at some point. But what I do is I have the opportunity to show you guys what I do on a month-to-month -month basis. And it clearly changes. If you look at any of the videos in the past, you will see that um, you know I'm, I'm, I'm traveling, I'm with different kids, we're doing different things. And so you guys get to see that on a month-to-month -month basis. And so I do that. On top of that, my wife, who's amazing, also sends out a quarterly email of uh, what, what we do and kind of captures what we do every quarter. So if you're not really into the video, it's usually around 10, 15 minutes. I try to keep it pretty, I try to keep it around that time frame because anything shorter, I would be actually leaving things out. And so I leave it around that time. So if you just want to do a quick skim, check out my information below, my cell phone and my email is below. Um, with that being said, we have a lot to cover. I don't want to waste any more time. It was a great month, like any other month. It's amazing, but this month was great for sure. And so let's get into it. This is, what I'm talking about. This is dedication ball, right here. Right. Look at my man Spence right. giving donuts out hey, in the donuts? rain. This is hey, pure love. Hey. This is, this is legit like contact work. Like what up, boy? How you doing? You good? I love you, bro. Yeah. What's your name? You hear that? Hey, Spencer, what do you mean? What's his name is? That's Spencer. Oh, yeah, we went. That was for sure like a proud papa moment. Seeing Spencer, uh, one of my leaders, one of the three dynamic leaders I have. Shout goes out to Sarah and Becca as well. But uh, Spencer, you know, he's recently been, you know, texting the the boys and uh, for, for dismissal and just saying he's going to be there. And he's, he just has been bringing donuts in, which is that's great. And I and I love that he do, does that. But especially when it was raining this one particular day, and I was like, there's no way he's going to come with donuts. And sure enough, he. He did, and kids are just getting to know him more, and the and that goes on. That goes to say the other leaders as well. Kids are getting to know them. They are consistent. They are faithful. They've been coming to dismissals and also um, stepping into other opportunities at the school, which have been great. And so I'm so appreciative for them because it's not just myself anymore. And even the intentions that I might have had coming into it, you know, are actually being lived out. And so I'm forever grateful for Spencer. For Becca, for Sarah, and for the kids that they're just getting to know, um, I just really do appreciate them and, and love uh, how they're growing and, and what they're growing into. So it's been a real cool opportunity to see them transition into these phenomenal leaders that they have been and what's to come too. I'm here at Top Golf with my guys. I got my man Julian. I got Eli, who's taking all the food right now. Neil, Tayshawn, my man Isaiah. We about to play Top Golf. Who thinks they're going to win anyway? Of course, all of them think that. We're going to see. Stay tuned. Let's see the embarrassing hits we got right now. And boy, were they a bit rusty. Um, for, first starting out, they were, uh, you, you know what? Actually, it's probably better for you to just check it out yourself. No, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Seriously, all fun and games. Uh, the boys, they did actually get it. They got used to it and actually got in a good groove and started knocking some balls back. But overall, it was just a great opportunity. And it just really affirms uh, what I've been wanting to do or, uh, uh, I guess, a desire of mine. And that's just uh, allowing kids, not even just the boys, but, you know, boys, girls, giving them opportunities to walk into things that they usually don't get the opportunity to walk into. And that's not a good or, or a bad thing in a sense. It's just giving them access to things that they usually just don't get. And and so, yeah, it was really fun. I don't think any of them ever would have thought like, hey, I would love to go to a driving range and knock back golf balls. But out of that too, created this um, really cool, it's creating a really cool culture. And it's something that I'm, it's not necessary for me. I, I, all glory to God in that too. 
Uh, I'm just ex excited to be a vessel. But really, the, the boys are growing to know each other, um, even in the school, not only when we go out, but actually at the school too. They're like hanging out together. They're looking out for each other for the most part. And um, I'm really appreciated, appreciative of that and excited to see what will happen next as they continue to be around each other, to hold each other accountable as we sit down and have more discussions about life and how impactful and how much influence they actually have in life. We are here at Central Catholic Young Life College Turkey Bowl. As you can see, we're on the turf field right now. It's a beautiful day. Um, stay tuned. We're going to have some cool highlights. Let's check them out. I mean, could you really live life without a turkey bowl? We had the opportunity to uh, partake in some good food. Um, a Young Life College got together. It was like kind of last hurrah before Thanksgiving break. And uh, we got to carve out a little bit of time to hang out with one another, eat some good food, and then head over for our turkey bowl, our annual turkey bowl, which we've been doing the last couple of years, actually before I even got to Pittsburgh. But it was so much fun. Um, I feel like it's growing. Um, leaders are getting to know each other more. I was actually able to bring some of my um, upper class high schoolers to really cast vision of like, hey, if you go to college, like you can be in community like this as well, and that you can be a part of creating that. Uh, culture and community as well. And so it was a lot of fun. Um, check out this this uh, quick video of uh, my man Savion on the left. You'll, you'll see him. Check it out. Nah. Nah. That's right. That boy is quick and he'll be getting ready for track very soon. But had a great time. The boys really enjoyed it. And once again, I think it's just growing. Um, I mean, even where we had a location it was a great place to play some football and just to get to know each other a little bit more before um, transitioning into Thanksgiving. Say it isn't so. Where have I landed? So you're probably asking yourself, why are you in Florida or you found a bus in Pittsburgh that said Disney? And that would be impressive in itself. But I'm actually in Florida. I came down here to see my mother and my father, such beautiful people. But it's also my mother's happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. This is my mother, Daphne Williams, and my angel. How you doing, mom? I'm doing great, buddy. Yeah, my buddy's here. We're down in Florida, holding it down at Golden Corral. Golden Crown's finest right here. You got anything else you want to say, Mom? God bless everyone. Right on. This is what I'll look like in 30 years. Looking forward to it, Pops. <laughs> yes, I was able to head down to Florida. I thank you so much, Amy, for allowing me to do that. Sadly, she could not come, but she allowed me to go down to see my mother and my father who moved to Florida about six years ago from the Philadelphia area. And uh, it was just an amazing time. Uh, you know, my mother had got surgery probably sometime in October and uh, she was really going to come out for her birthday and the surgery went a different direction and so it extended or increased her length and healing healing time so she wasn't able to fly out or come up to Pennsylvania and so for her birthday so I said you know what I already have that time off I'm gonna go down there and go see her and I had such a great time with my mother and father my mother is an angel my father is, he's hilarious, and I really, he's just probably going to see this, he's probably, he watches all of my videos and all, and I just want to, I really wanted to highlight um, just the, how he catered to my mother, and uh, not really living with him for, you know, almost 10, 12 years now, um, being able to see how he um, not did mediocre, but he, he surpassed all my expectations from cooking to cleaning to going grocery shopping, and really just making sure that my mom was provided for and I really am um, encouraged by that and and uh, I just wanted to highlight my father thank you so much dad I love you so much and I just I know I've said thank you maybe a million times while I was down there too but I really I want everyone else to know too like in that video he is hilarious he's a funny man it's been great to see the man of God that he's be he's become and uh, how more more and more disciplined and how more and more He's striving to be more like Jesus has been really great. And so it's a great example to look at, too, um, as I grow and as I, you know, grow as a man in Christ as well. So thank you so much. I had such an amazing time. My mom is doing so much better day by day. She's getting stronger. She's healing. 
Um, my dad is, he, he, he's, he's just him. I mean, he literally asked for oven mitts for his birthday so he could cook more. And I just think that's just the most funniest thing ever. But they're doing very well down in Florida. And I was so um, thankful to be able to get down there before Thanksgiving uh, to, yeah, just carve out a little bit of time. He had some awesome conversations just about life, you know, things that I, I think I overlooked, you know, growing up that I never really asked my parents about things, sacrifices that they made, um, just their upbringing in life as well. And so it was so sweet to be able to just relax and hang out with them. So thank you again. I love you guys so much. And thank you for the examples that you were in my life of love before I even knew what love actually was. So thank you. Okay, so you have the Turkey Bowl. I mean, I was in Florida. I mean, cross-country states. Um, that was a great thing too. We came in 12th overall, and that, that's a whole nother story. But we, we, we had a, a great month, and yet there's still more. And this is just the setup for Fall Weekend. <laughs> fall Weekend, here we come, baby. Here we go. Fall Weekend. Most of you are probably asking, what is Fall Weekend anyway? And Fall Weekend is something that Young Life does. It is a high school outreach where we just kind of take over a camp that's, you know, in a local camp in Pittsburgh called Conoquy. And we go up there a couple days before the first Fall Weekend, we do two of them. And we kind of set it up. And in those two weekends, we'll have over 400 kids that come from all over the Pittsburgh metro and even the outskirts of Pittsburgh. They come together and we... We do programming, we have free time, we play crazy games, but we have the opportunity the entire weekend to lay out or proclaim the gospel. We do gospel proclamation, and it's just great. And I was able to take 10 kids. Um, last year I took three, and this year I was able to take 10 kids. You know, check out some of these pictures, some of these videos of the shenanigans that they partake in. <laughs> Oh yeah, we over here at night one, fall weekend. We didn't even enter the doors yet. Tayshia, how you feeling so far? I'm feeling good. Feeling good? Do you know what's about to hit you? Do you know what's about to happen? No. But are you excited? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Stay tuned. We're about to, we're about to get into it. Seriously, a wild weekend, but overall the kids really loved it. It was a great setup or alley oop for camp. Uh, kids had the opportunity to hear the gospel on the weekend, but then also had time to process and think about it. You know, during or after our talks or discussions, they were able to have free time to just kind of go over things and not always be on their phones or go right into something or have content thrown right at them. They were able to really take what was said and then run with it and like think about it a little bit more and then we had some sweet cabin times and through all of that at the end of the weekend um what i wanted them to take away at the end of the day was that jesus loves them exactly where they're at and through that out of those 10 kids some of them actually know the lord already but three three kids gave their life to christ and that's not even that's just a fraction to uh, uh, um as far as the kids that from other areas that gave their life to Christ too during the say so. And that was just phenomenal. And to be there to celebrate them was it was so cool. And I'm excited more to come back to follow up with them, to have campaigners where we play some games and all, but then we get to sit down and just open the Bible and just discuss it, to talk to them about it. Things that they might be thinking about too. And uh, they really are appreciating that more and more they're they're opening up about things that they enjoy or things that are hard for them and realizing that um, once again, they don't have to have a perfect day. There's no such thing as a perfect day. 
And um, it's all right to have a bad day. And if you do, you have people around you that care for you and want to be there to hear about it, to give ear to your words, and, and like to support you through that. So it was a great weekend. It was very successful. Once again, kids are so excited about going into camp. And uh, just the relationships that we're building on a daily basis. Like I said, you guys see this video on a monthly basis, but day in, day out, like I said, myself, my other leaders, we're going to the school, we're interacting at dismissals, at lunches, we're uh, coaches, um, I'm doing music for basketball games. So just any opportunity we have to be around kids, chaperone and dances, any opportunity we have, like we wanna be present, we wanna be consistent, be content, and let them know that we love them, we're gonna meet them exactly where they're at. And this seriously is life on life ministry. And so it was a great weekend. And uh, yeah, we are actually getting to the end. So check this out. <laughs> All right, I'm with my man her. Eli. I got Don't my man know. B over here. Look at these hair nuts. We call the hair netters over <laughs> here. We are at a minute action. We are going to help two, with a group of 2,000 people pack a million meals for less resource families. This is our second service project. And this is a great way to end the month of November. It is. We're going out in a style. It How are you feeling really today? Is. Are you excited to help serve today? Yeah, I'm excited, but yesterday it wasn't. You weren't feeling that great, that's true. I Look at these guys, know. they're looking good right now. All right, we'll, we'll check in and let you guys see what we've been doing. And what a way to end November. We teamed up with Aim into Action where a million meals were packed. Around 2,000 people showed up and a million meals were packed for um, less resource families. I mean, that goes to shelters, food pantries, um, uh, soup kitchens, all in Pittsburgh. So it stays in Pittsburgh, but there's a million meals packed. And it was just really, for me, I really loved it where um, now, like parents, once again, I know parents clearly want their kids to be a part of um, opportunities like, you know, that, that they enjoy or have fun, like going to camp or going to games. But also that, that idea for me, too, is service projects. That's something I really want the kids to learn more about and the importance of that and how um, a service or ser serving others might look different in other areas, but it's still the same thing. It still has the same heart or the posture behind that. And so we are at number two. We have four more to go in the year. And I hope that, you know, most of the boys that I get to run with, I really encourage them to do six service projects in a year. And that helps, you know, some of that will help them get to camp. But overall, like that they are realizing that it's, it's really actually, um, you can rejoice in that and you feel good about serving. And, and we can tie that into, ultimately we tie that into giving glory to God, but also how, like, how God served us, you know, and, and his works. And, and how we go out and we do good works because of what he's done. But needless to say, we had a, a fun time. Kids woke up early the day after Thanksgiving, and uh, we, yeah, we were there for about three hours, and actually check out what we did. You gotta watch, you gotta watch. You gotta watch I did it, no, I did it. Look at that, look at that. You did it. Aren't they, they just, they're so adorable. I'm so proud of them, seriously. Um, like most of those kids, I, there maybe were one or two kids that I just met at fall weekend, but the rest of them I've been running with them since I got here um, last August. And um, it's, it's been really, it's, it's been really rewarding seeing um, the investment that I've made, you know, uh, Tommy and Greatest Currency, um, being around them and seeing how they want to do more. Not that it was just me, but they want to do more, whether that's serving or if that's going out, and they enjoy it. And, and I, I love that they are are open to those things. They're open to being unafraid to fail. They're open to um, trying things that they're that get, gets them out of their comfort zone. And for some of them, it might be a little bit of a struggle, but for others, like they are trying it and they are trusting each other to just have a good time. And so that's been that's been phenomenal. So that was number two. We're done with that. Check this out. Oh, snap, there's nothing left. That means prayer requests. Um, how can I end this? Once again, November was amazing. It, it was a great setup for December because it comes right after. And Thanksgiving was great. I had a great time with the in-laws. Got to hang out, eat a lot of food, ran. And now we're getting ready for December where I'll start doing music for basketball games. That's girls and boys. So girl, lady dice, go dice boys. Um, I look forward to that. Hopefully we have a great time. 
Um, you can be praying for my leaders. One, there's studies. I mean, these, these guys are so smart and they're so diligent in the work. So be praying for them that they finish strong, they finish the semester strong and be able, are able to go home and just rest. Rest in the Lord, rest physically. Um, you can pray for Amy and I just over the holidays that we take a step back to, to just take in and reflect on what we've been provided with, what we've been able to walk into, but also that we get the opportunity to just see each other and to take in each other and love each other. Um, Cause there's so many things that can go on during the holidays and just really, you know, appreciate the advent, you know, the, the coming of, of, of the Lord. And so um, taking time to do that, to really appreciate and, and take in uh, what's been provided to us thus far. Um, you can be praying for our community, our area. Um, right now, like I said, we're in a good, we had a great banquet, but as we get ready for this new year, as we actually transition into the new year, um, that we, you know, we set that up right, that we have some sweet dinners with the, the, the committee. We pray for the committee. Um, overall, like they support us in ways that, you know, I can't eat, that words are futile when it comes to expressing the gratitude that I have for these men and, and also, up, you know, upcoming women. Uh, so you can be praying for them and, and also um, that we just continue to widen our net as far as vision casting and also financially supporting um, the operating budget that we actually can fund that. So you can be definitely praying for that as well and that, you know, I'm a great steward with the money that has been coming in, that we use it in the right ways. You'll be praying for camp signups. I'll be talking to parents in the next week or two, I mean, after this video is sent out and uh, yeah, that that I have the opportunity to talk to parents and get them signed up, which will give them an early incentive because there's some money off if they sign up um, sooner than later. And uh, you can pray for our camp. Although it's in June, you can start praying right now. I have some big, big announcements, but I'm gonna wait for for that in December. So you have to come on back. I, I, I'm enticing you to come back. So yes, come back and we'll, I'll, I'll let you know all the ins and outs about that, those details. But it's been a, a great month. I don't wanna, I want to keep this going. Happy holidays. Um, by the time you see the next video, it would be after Christmas. So Merry Christmas. I love you guys. Um, if you never heard it from anyone else, hear it from me. You have meaning, you have purpose, you have value. You are loved. And I thank you guys so much for carving out time to check out this update. I got to go. We got things to do. I know you got things to do. Peace.